just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. We're going to take a dive into a stab at going back to watching Red vs. Blue because Red vs. Blue was brilliant. Now, first things first, please, if I'm going to explain exactly what this entails, us going, you know, trying to watch Red vs. Blue again. Just take a couple minutes and bear with me. If, if you're interested in discovering what we need to do here, only because if not, we get a hundred questions in the comment section that are all answered right here in the <laughs> in in the intro. So please bear with me for a couple minutes. What has happened is you guys know there were issues before when I was posting Rooster Teeth content. We just there was no meeting of the minds between us and Rooster Teeth, and I I don't know why it was never malicious. It was just constant blocks, and there was a copyright strike and and stuff that typically doesn't happen. Now, we came back and tried Ruby a while back. Everything went fine as far as Rooster Teeth. Whatever, whatever was going on seemed to have been ironed out. The reason we didn't continue Ruby was simply you guys didn't seem interested in it. What I do with any series here is I watch, of course, I watch the views. That gives me an idea of how interested you are. But even more so, I watch the watch time on the videos to see if you're interested, if, even if those who are trying it out are interested. Ruby was low on views and extremely low on watch time. I was surprised because a lot of people had asked for it. Um, I'm not complaining. It doesn't matter to me. You know what you guys, there's so many things out there I want to watch and I enjoy it. I'm okay with it if, if I put something up and you guys are like, nah, rather, rather not do that. But I don't want you to think it's like, I'm only going to, if I put up red versus blue and you guys don't support it a lot, then I'm somehow punishing, fuck off train punishing someone by taking it down it's just i figure i'll move on to something that everybody does like you know and i can watch things on my own time similar to erb when i went back to watching a couple of the epic rap battles i saw the views were up so then i checked what's more important the watch time the watch times were fantastic so we stayed with the series that's again there's so many things out there i want to see i'm never going to get to do them all anyway so why stay on something for the channel that the majority of you guys here at the channel aren't enjoying. So hopefully that explains it. Um, if there are any more issues, I, I can't, I can't rule that out. You know, if there's any more issues with Rooster Teeth or the videos getting blocked or anything like that, we'll have to just walk away from them. The more, the majority of the issues I had in the past were with Ruby, not Red versus Blue. So I'm thinking maybe there won't, there won't be any more problems. I'm hoping that. Now the last thing to remember is my memory sucks. I went back and I watched the final episode, that, or I watched our reaction to the final episode of season eight to try and catch me back up. You know, I saw, so now I remember the whole thing with the Epsilon and, you know, going in looking for text. And I, I love that, love that speech at the end of that episode. And I like the rewind going back to the initial, the initial memory of how this all started with, you know, the red versus blue and everything. And like Spaz Kid and I said at the time, it was really... <laughs> It was just a, it seemed like it would have been a perfect way if it was a series ender, the end of season eight, it would have been a perfect way to end it tied up so neatly. So going forward, I, as you guys know, again, Caboose is one of my all time favorite characters in anything we watch. So I'm looking forward to that. I love the whole Griff Sarge thing. Always have. There's so many fun, hilarious things about Red versus Blue, but it's all up to you guys. If you guys enjoy watching this along with me, we'll continue on with them. Um, and of course, we're still don't. A lot of people get nervous for some reason. Whenever I take a day off from ERB, some people think, "Oh, oh we're not going to watch the end of the epic rap." Yeah, we're going to watch them. I just want to do this today for now. So where we are now, we ended season eight. Before we go to season nine, I know there's some things that came up in between. This is the MIA episode one, the mini series. So let's just watch this episode one of MIA. This will give me a good feel for what, what you guys think about Red vs. Blue, where we're going to go with it. We'll finish the MIA series. I, I got a whole list. Somebody made me a list of all the things and what order in which to watch them. So this is MIA episode one. Back to Red vs. Blue, at least for now. I'm looking forward to it. You guys let me know what you think. There's that minute music. <laughs> That's, that gave me a little flashback rush. <laughs> Fucking Sarge. Where the hell are you? Hey, Sarge. What can I do you for? Wow, you seem like you're in a good mood. I am. I've been all day. 
He had to turn up a little. But I'm just gonna go with it. Who knows why these things happen? Brace it while you can. Hey, you think Griff? Damn it. I think I just figured it out. No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> he just figured it out, yeah. He's not sleeping. It's really not like him to be up and about this early. Yeah. It's only 1 p.m. Did you check it? <laughs> it's only 1 p.m. Yeah, I did. I checked the bunks. Griff and Spaz kids got things in common. I did all the foot lockers. What about that space between the mattress and the spring? Where he keeps those magazines? I did. You look in the mess hall pantry? Yeah, well, the food's all eaten. But magazines? But he sleeping on any of the shelves. So, he <laughs> ate all the food, but made it more than 10 feet before collapsing in a food-induced coma. <laughs> I know, you could be hurt. You could be laying somewhere right now in trouble. <laughs> Sarge would, be dying. would be devastated. Worried, what are you worried about? I'm worried about all the stuff I just said. <laughs> That's pretty... <laughs> what, what are you worried about? <laughs> you haven't brought up anything of concern yet. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm worried about all the stuff I just said. Well, don't worry, sons. I'm sure the Griff is either perfectly fine... That seems like two extreme things, sir. Oh, really? In either case, you'll just spend most of the day laying around and smelling bad. That affects the same. You make a strong point, sir. Smelling bad either way. <laughs> this, 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 the dialogue is so great. Yeah. Herdy, uh. Tucker, what the hell are these boxes doing outside the base? Don't ask me. Caboose has been moving them all morning. Caboose, what the He's hell are busy. you doing, man? Uh. He told me to clean up the store room. Yeah, but all these boxes can't be just laying around outside. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why not? They're outside. He's got a good point, dude. The cases are waterproof. Who cares if they're outside? I told you to organize the crates. I told you to stack them in rows. Remember? I said, <laughs> it's just like Tetris. Well, I just, just like, like te Tetris. But every time I made a full row, they didn't disappear like they were supposed to. That's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not how it works, dummy. Actually, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> <laughs> He's stacking the cases, expecting the ropes to disappear. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot how much I love this series. <laughs> exactly how Tetris works. What, you ever played the game before? This is real life, Tucker. <laughs> the only way to win is not to play. Hey, Google, maybe you try humming that Russian song. That That's, um, what's the name of that movie? War Games. The only way to win is not to play. Stop that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Sorry. Well, guys, can't from the storeroom I want to hang, hang out with Caboose. Put all this stuff? Well, <laughs> the storeroom's empty. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, great. Let's put it in there. And I'll get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caboose, Caboose is having a productive day. <laughs> I'll get back to work. <laughs> God damn. I, it is funny though, being away from it that long. Of course, I, I have memories of all the characters. That stuff stays. It's the finer, you guys know my memory, it's the finer plot points and stuff I'm concerned about. And that's, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to bring up to you guys. Please make sure if we do continue on with this, especially once we get back into the actual season episodes, um, don't be shy in the comment section about reminding me about things that I, I will certainly have forgotten. I just don't have time my day to go back. I wish I did to go back and revisit all of Red versus Blue and catch up to where we are. I just, again, there's not enough hours in my day. But <laughs> now even this, just that revisit of, of in that little episode, this MIA episode one, covered the two things I think I enjoy more than anything else in Red versus Blue. My boy Caboose. <laughs> And the relationship with Sarge and um and there we go again. Now this this is what I'm talking about with my memory. It took that long for the word griff after I had just said it and experienced it to come back to me. So that's why I might need you guys' help with memory. But the whole Sarge and Griff thing, those are two of my very favorite elements of the show. <laughs> 